Good morning. Well, today we're going to talk about fuel level and storage. There has been many, many, a great many multitude of questions on this particular situation. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually illustrate it a little bit closer. The reason why I'm illustrating it is because to really understand the reasoning, you have to be able to see the system. Now, this is a new design, seventh generation fuel system. This is out of a 2014. Yep, and it's right there. Yep, that's the transmission, and that's the fuel level module. What you will see is right here is a fuel level sending unit. The fuel pump is right here. Okay, but if you look, there's your fuel tank, okay? And this is positioned exactly the right way as it would be installed. Now, I'm gonna show you. This is your flow and this is how it moves. But let's take a look at this. Do you see the level sending card is actually halfway up the fuel tank? Okay, so the reason why Corvette Engineering has actually stated that in order to store any 5th, 6th, or 7th generation Corvette, the best thing to do is store it with a quarter of a tank of fuel is the following. Number one, you are looking at the sensor contact point. And if it's just sitting there, let's say you've got it about here, okay? That means that the fuel level is above it. So the sulfur within the fuel will actually contact and basically soak this. But without the float moving back and forth to clean the contacts, it'll just basically create a change in resistance. Now, if you're at a quarter of a tank of fuel, the fuel level will be below it, okay? That will be below it, because remember, the passenger side would be empty, and then this being the driver's side would be below the level of sending car. So it won't sit there soaking in fuel the entire storage season, okay? Now, why is it that you can store with a quarter of a tank of fuel? Well, it's because in essence, it's a sealed system. Because if you look over here, what is there to actually keep moisture from entering? Well, that is your charcoal emissions control canister. So what happens is as you fill up, fuel comes in through the driver's side. See the corrugate right there? It will come across and fill in this side, but the air has to be displaced somewhere. So the air displaces out here into the charcoal canister to absorb the fuel vapor and then out the vent solenoid, which is right there, and then you have still a sealed system. So even as you use fuel, air is drawn in. However, the moisture is absorbed at the charcoal canister. So look, it's obviously a very long and strangely complex system by today's technologies, but if you utilize the information given to us, okay, meaning simple things like the fuel level sending cards, things like that, you will see that a simple thing like storing it with a quarter of a tank of fuel is a much, much better option for fifth, sixth, and seventh generation Corvette than storing it full and potentially having problems with this little thing right here. Yeah. Because you can see what was involved in taking the fuel tank out of the vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving us your attention for four minutes. I appreciate the time. I hope everybody has a good holiday season. You'll see me here and there uh, as we do a couple of videos before the end of the holiday. I hope everybody stays safe and happy, and we'll talk to you all soon about more technical bits with Corvette.